Panwa's got a must-try disc for the moon chasing fest. Heard about it? Can we go try it, please? Sure, let's go try it out. Hello? What's up, Chisha? Hey, Rover. You've been to the wishing tree, right? What did you wish for? Did it come true? Oh, wait, it can't be that fast. Just leave it here, Chusia. Gotcha. Still busy with the preparations? Almost finished. It's crazy 
here with all these people bustling around. You hear the buzz from our side? Need to double check the procedure. Hmm? Did I just see Madame Magistrate? Was it just me? Sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bump into you. Uh, I should have just stayed home to avoid causing trouble. Pretty hectic, isn't it? Indeed. Everyone's really giving their all for this year's moon chasing festival. Oh, and the Loom Dance performance is happening tonight. Come and watch it with us, Rover. I've secured the best seats. Hooray! That settled them. We'll be waiting for you then. Before we hang up, anything you want to say to Rover, Ying Yang? Me? Uh, but I'm not ready. Okay, um. How are you doing today, Rover? I'm looking forward to enjoying the moonlit fair with you tonight. And you, Baja? Uh, please, come early if possible. People have been preparing for the moonlit fair for many weeks. I just sent the coordinates to your terminal. See you there! Ha! <laughs> Get ready to be blown away! Hmm? Are we not going to that restaurant then? <laughs> Let's eat there with Yang Yang and the others later. Yeah! Wait! I smell something delicious! It's the real deal for my empty tummy! I just know it! Isn't that... Hello, Rover. Can you come to the Moon Tree Lodge? Hey! Are you done deciphering that fourth wish? Yes. As I suspected, Patty's malfunction was caused by something else. Understood. I'll be right there. Thank you. I'll see you in the usual spot. Hmm, more trouble to solve, eh? <laughs> Wait, didn't you just promise Yang Yang we'd hang out tonight? Yeah, I did. Let's go handle it quickly so we can still make it on time. Tazet Field, Hate, Pascar, The World. Thank you for coming, Rover. Is that the smell of Sonoro? Patty is now a portal to a Sonoro sphere. Its built up frequencies likely resonated with something and created this. Should we alert the Midnight Rangers? But then, well, then people might think there's another TD outbreak. Uh, since a major fight has just happened, I think we should. We'll handle it ourselves. Ah. You're already planning to do so. I can tell. It's written all over your face. <laughs> yes. I've thought it through. I believe that would be the most practical solution. If the Sonoro is benign, we can all breathe a sigh of relief. And worst case scenario, if it turns malignant, you'll have no trouble handling it. I just didn't expect you to bring it up first. I guess I wasted time hesitating. You hesitated because of the name Pascar? Yes, he was a close friend of mine. He died from the Waveworn. I think... If this Sonoro Sphere is related to him, it must contain his messages for me. This is my personal request, Rover. Please help me. Sure thing. In fact, I'm also doing this for a personal reason. You are? I promised my friends we'd enjoy the Moonlit Fair together tonight. We can't let this incident ruin the festivity. <laughs> Thank you, Rover. Let's enter the Sonoro now. Program. Well, like they say, you wouldn't know what's inside a Sonoro Sphere until you're actually inside it. What's happening? Uh, the Sonoro 
is pushing us out! Rover, here! My hand! Thomas Field, hate Huskar. The world hates Shanley Yo. Uh, Rover! <sighs> Thank goodness you're awake. I'm glad the Sonora didn't throw us out. But why us? What did we even do? Maybe it has something to do with that Pascar person. Anyway, we should find Shang Li Yao first. Introduce myself. My name's Pascar. They're Modi and Ryan. What's your name? I'm Shang Li Yao. Shang Li Yao? Jeez, you're Mrs. Shang Li Yen's son. Whoa, so you're that genius everyone's been talking about? Um, <laughs> wow. I heard you've never been second to anyone in school. Mm hmm. No way! I heard you finished an entire school year's classes in one week! Mm-hmm. That's amazing! And you've solved a century-old problem for the Academy, too? Huh? Is that what they've been saying about me? You're so cool! Chill, boss. You might scare him. You're just like my big sis when she meets her idol. <sighs> Shush! <clears throat> Sorry, I got ahead of myself. By the way, we're going to the Moonlit Fair. Care to join us? Are you... sure? <laughs> of course you can. We can make you the new boss, even. The... Uh, yeah, like, our leader. But that's not important. The real question is... Do you want to play with us? I... Uh, sorry. I think I'll stay at home. I must wait for my dad. Your dad? The big inventor mentioned in the headlines? Said he's gone missing. Hey, shut up! Mm. We gotta go now. Come find us anytime you want to play. I don't like being alone. Don't know if you feel the same. Anyway, we're here. When you need to chat or someone to hang out with. Okay. Looks like something from Xiang Li Yao's childhood. Hmm. Could his memories be affecting this Sonoro's frequencies? Maybe it's not just his memories. Wait! <gasps> we can go through that door now. Let's move! What is this place? A wishing stall? But the decorations don't match this year's theme. Mm, do we need to touch anything or read anything here? Like we did in the last room? There are some wish tags on the floor. Let's read them. Hoping to be heard, missing a deported son, wanting to become a hero. These are the wishes of the people I've helped. There are two more wish tags. Oh, it worked. 
Your intuition can be really sharp. Can't believe I actually got a zero. What a bummer. I'm not even in the mood for wishes now. Still upset about what happened in class? I mean, aren't we supposed to learn by doing? That's what we've been taught since day one. We know next to nothing about the wave-worn phenomena, and our equipment is useless. Shouldn't we go explore it firsthand? <laughs> but how? Should we set up a lab by a wave-worn site like you said in class? It's too risky. If something goes wrong, the staff won't make it. But this is the martyrdom of science, the necessary sacrifice. Like chemists who sampled unknown substances, we must risk it all for the ultimate truth. Really? Do we have to risk it all? Of course! You want food, you pay. You want pay, you work. Give something to get something. When the truth of this world, the ultimate knowledge, is on the line, one must be willing to give up everything they have. We'll discuss it later. Modi and Ryan want to catch up. How about meeting them today? I have no time. You've been avoiding them since they failed the entrance exam. It's necessary. As intellectuals, we must walk a solitary path. Those who can't keep up will only hold us back. It's best to leave them behind sooner rather than later. Why would a genius like you care about their feelings anyway? With your father as a role model, distraction should be beneath you. Come on, what if they drag you down? But I don't think we have to be lonely as intellectuals. Remember that old Boon Tree Lodge tale from a decade ago? Write a wish, hang it on the wishing tree, and presto, your wish comes true. But let's be real, there's got to be a person running that show, because when the word got out, it just stopped working. More wishes were made, but how many actually came true? Not many. See? Not even that unsung hero of the Lodge had time to grant every wish. Our time in this world is limited, so let's focus on the truth, not trivialities. Uh... Trying to organize your arguments to refute me? <laughs> Go ahead if you must, Mr. Genius. You know, I only said that because I value you as my only friend and opponent. I just don't want you to get distracted. It's not satisfying to outdo someone when they're not at their best. Well, that's enough talk for today. I'll make my wish now. Let's see. Well, Wishing Tree, please make the wave worn happen. Then I can finally study it up close. <gasps> Pascar! <laughs> Chill, dude. Just kidding. As an intellectual, I must prioritize my pursuit of truth. Even if it means a life of solitude, then... Father, why did I find drive shafts of your design in the Moon Tree Lodge? You were never home during moon chasing festivals. Were you busy helping other people? If that's what you did, does it mean I don't really have to be alone? <sighs> what should I do? Hey, Shang Li! What are you doing there? Come on, we gotta go now! Okay. Oh. The festival must mean something different to him. Is that why he's running the Moon Tree Lodge after his father's passing? Is that a form of human connection too? Sort of. Are we sharing that kind of connection right now? Well, I'd say you've been haunting me. Like a ghost. Haunting? <laughs> no way. Admit it. I'm just living rent-free in your head. <laughs> sure, if you say so. Now, back to the topic. We've been seeing Pascar and Shangli Yao's past exclusively so far. So? <laughs> Isn't that pretty normal in a Sonora like this? But why can't we get through the doors before Shang Li Yao opens them? Ah, oh, strange indeed. It's almost as if he owns this place. Or maybe he holds the key. Is it similar to what Scar did to me? No, I can't tell for sure yet. Let's press on. We need to go deeper to uncover the truth. Empty. Our research has been great. 
Hopefully, we'll keep this momentum going into the next year. With the progress we've made so far, we'll surely figure out the tacit fields one day. Well, we have Pascar and Sheng Li Yao to thank. Yeah, where did Sheng Li go? He's never here with us during the Moon Chasing Festival. end up back in the same place. Uh, something feels off here. Another failed experiment. When will we invest in better equipment for accurate results? This is pointless. The wave one has destroyed all our theories. There's no pattern at all. Our research has been a waste of time. It's all your fault. We need Sheng Li Yao. Pasca. Where is Shang Li Yao? Where the hell is he? We've circled back here. Let's look around and get out of here. Quick. I can't do this anymore. It's over. I'm useless. Nonsense. It's all nonsense. Countless errors. No solution. It's not me. It's them. No. It's the world. The whole world is wrong! <laughs> Where is Shang Li Yao? You're nobody compared to him, Pasca! guy. Mm, he smells delicious. I, I mean, uh, he looks even worse than yesterday, when he wrote down his wish. The others are probably no better than him. affected too. Uh, even that granny has gone crazy. too depressing. But if it ever comes true, I have a feeling it's gonna be hella dangerous. Hmm. I think I know who the remaining two will be. So 
Science doesn't exist. We knew it. We knew it right from the start. The wave-worn phenomenon defies all laws of physics. And the worst part? It's completely random. We need more data. How are we supposed to study the tacit field in this chaos? I knew it. We never have enough samples. Now, if we could make the wave worn disasters happen more often... Don't you try to stop me, cowards! You don't even have the guts to sacrifice for the truth. You all despise me. Thinking I'll never surpass Yang Li Yao, right? <laughs> if this were his idea, not a single one of you would object. Fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I did it! Now I'm just a heartbeat away from success. Stay back! Stay away from here! His wish achieved. He is not guilty. He must he trigger the wave worn tested field. Oh, he can't be serious. So he's gonna trigger the wave worn disaster like Pascar planned to? We shouldn't jump to conclusions yet. Not based on a few broken words. He's willing to go to great lengths for other people. He wouldn't want to do that. My friend's quest for truth was genuine till his last breath! I will not let you tarnish his goal like that! Huh? It's Xiang Li Yao! He's right behind this door! But it won't budge! Then I'll smash it open! Huh? By brute force? Yeah.